In this video I'm going to show you how to generate a frequency table of a multiple response or a multiple answer question. In my survey I had uh, the TV series, the TV Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, the South Park and others. That was actually one question, but people could choose multiple answers. In order to enter this into SPSS we split each option up into its own variable and now it's time to let SPSS actually know that this was one big question. Now analyze there's multiple response defined variable sets. Already made one so I'll remove it for now. These are the variables that formed one multiple response question. So I move them all to the right. I'm interested in counting how many people said yes and I assigned a 1 to yes. And this is important that you want to actually highlight and count the yeses. You could also do the opposite, count the noes, but most often we're interested in people who said yes. As a name, remember names for variables cannot have any spaces in them, so I'm simply going to call this TV series. And as a label, which TV series do you uh, watch? I can then add this and oddly enough when I hit close nothing really happens. However, if you go to analyze multiple response these two options should now be available. Frequencies I move my new multiple response set to the right and I click on OK and I now nicely get a output frequency table my multiple answer question. Note that there were only 53 people, or actually 55 in total, in my survey, um, but I have 117 answers. Now these percentages are based on uh, the number of people, uh, these percentages are based on the number of responses, However, I'm more interested in the percentage of cases, how many people actually watch Game of Thrones. So here we can see it's pretty close, but relatively speaking, uh, most people do watch Game of Thrones. Um, that does mean that these don't add up to 100%, so if you actually report this in a table, it's always good to add a note saying that the percentages do not add up to 100% because this was a multiple answer question. Also you get critics saying, hey look, it doesn't add up to 100 Yeah, because this was a multiple answer question. There is an alternative way of doing this. You can also go for analyze and then tables multiple response sets. That's a different way of doing the same thing. Again, we have to create the set first. We want to count the ones. The set name I said TV series and uh, which TV series do you watch? add it, click on OK. Not much has happened but now under Analyze Tables and then I can actually go to Custom Tables and now all the way at the bottom there should be my Witch TV series. I'll reset it because I created a new one. I move this one up to the right, I click on OK and I nicely get the 31, the 30, 28, and 28. So these numbers actually match. Small downside is that these multiple response sets often disappear when you close SPSS. If you really insist on keeping them, there is a way to use so called syntax. Um, when you then create the frequency tables, you hit paste and you then actually get something like this. This is a code that you can save and every time when you need to set you can then simply run this code again and it will actually create the set for you. Okay, that was it.